Hello Colors, welcome back to Viva Bassa and welcome to another interesting episode where we discuss on some interesting updates. We begin with this report claiming that Barcelona still planning three exits this summer before it comes to an end. They have informed La Liga of the same. We are going to discuss on that as we progress. Secondly, in this episode, we talk about left back Marcos Alonso as the Barca veteran has been offered a two-year contract by Manchester United. We are also going to be discussing on that. So guys, as we get right into it in much detail, please do ensure to subscribe if you haven't. Turn on the post bell notification to always stay notified whenever I post a new video. Consider liking the video and please watch it right up to the very end. Journalist Gerard Romero has claimed that Barcelona want to carry out as many as three exits and two arrivals before the transfer window slams shut. As part of their pre-planning, the Black Runner have already notified La Liga about it. With only a handful of days left in the transfer market, the Barcelona management is working on quick movements as several players continue to face uncertain futures. The club's recent struggles and the financial constraints have necessitated a strategic approach to transfers, focusing on both departures and arrivals. The exit are expected to not only streamline the squad, but also provide financial relief. This move aligns with Barcelona's long-term goal of maintaining a sustainable and a competitive team despite financial challenges. So the question now is, who are expected to leave? We have reported before that there are as many as four players who could leave Catalonia this summer itself. This includes defenders Clement Lenglet, Eric Garcia, Marcos Alonso, and young forward Ace Abdey. Among the aforementioned, Lenglet is highly tipped to leave as he continues to work on a larger token. Talks with Tottenham Hotspur and Saudi Arabia have already collapsed but Sevilla have recently shown interest. Eric Garcia, on the other hand, is least expected to leave mostly because of the fitness concerns of Ronald Araujo, Andreas Christensen and Inigo Martinez. As far as Alonso is concerned, any defensive arrival this summer would force him towards the exit. Lastly, Abde is set to be disappointed with how Barcelona have handled his future this summer and with plenty of offers on the table, the Blaugrana might consider an exit. So the question now is who will arrive? Simultaneously, the club is preparing for the arrival of two new players why the specific positions targeted remain undisclosed, a right back, Joao Cancelo, is already a year we go and is heading to completing his Barca move today or tomorrow. The timing of these transfers adds an air of suspense to Barcelona's strategy. The final days of the transfer window are often marked by intense negotiations and last minute decisions and this is exactly what is expected to happen with Joao Felix. The Atletico Madrid forward is said to be waiting for Barcelona to come up with an offer that as long as there are no exits from the current roster, the team from Catalonia just cannot approach the player. Of course, we have about six days to go um, for the summer window to come to a close and it's still open with, with any possibility. Of course, we know what happens during deadlines. For instance, things happen that you don't even expect and we can't, we can't say, you know, 
things might not be the way it is. Now, Barca have already closed the deal with Joao Fel, a Joao Cancelo from the reports we got yesterday. It was a year ago by Fabrizio Romano, which means the right back position is already a guaranteed um, position for us that we have strengthened. So now it's just a matter of who next. Who next? We have been talking a lot about an attacking midfielder that Javi has been pursuing the club to bring. And of course, also bringing um, a new forward, a new winger, as players like Joao Felix has been showing strong interest as well. So it's still very unpredictable how things will look like in the coming weeks as the summer window you know, approaches its end. We're just going to see how things go from here. Of course, for those who depart, there have been a lot of rumors these days talking about a lot of on on uncertain futures like that of Alonso, Abde, you know, Eric Garcia, um, Clement Langley. You know, those are the four players that have been rumored quite heavily to be to be sold. But I ask myself, how soon? We don't have much time left. How soon? Because they are saying that the, the most likeliest player to leave will be Lenglet, you know. But the rest are still uncertain if they will actually leave or not. But for Lenglet's own case, it seems as though it is certain that Barca will cash in on him. Not really cash in on him. It might just likely be a loan move, by the way. Then, on to the final story of this caution. As rumors of Marco Alonso's potential departure from FC Barcelona hitter Luis Rojo of Marca has come up with a fresh update on his future. On Sunday, reports emerged that Manchester United had shown an interest in signing Alonso from Barcelona. And earlier today, it was reported that the Premier League heavyweight had already sent in a formal offer to Barca to sign the veteran defender on a season-long loan deal. Building on that, Luis Rojo is now claiming that Manchester United have also sent in a contract proposal for Alonso. As per the report, the Barcelona left-back has been offered a two-year contract by Eric Den Haag's Red Devils. United's need for a new left-back emerged as Luke Shaw picked up an injury recently, which is said to sideline him for an extended period, with Tyrell Malasia already on the treatment tables. A new player is being sought. Alonso appears to have convinced the Red Devils management, who have now offered him a two-year contract. The first year of the deal would be with him being on loan from Barca and the second year for the next season when his contract with the Blaugrana expires. So guys, with that, we have come to an end of this episode. Thanks a lot for watching. Until next time, bye-bye.